Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Jess Hilarious is here. Put your helmet on, Envy. Nope. I'm glad you finally got a helmet in your hand. I've been telling you that you <laughs> you need a helmet for a long time. No, I'm just I'm just holding up this helmet because of the, the sweatshirt you're wearing this morning. He don't even know what he's wearing. He got to look at it. A clown. Salute to, <laughs> <laughs> Salute to Howard University. Even though I'm a South Carolina State alumni. I got, was Howard University. I got an honorary degree from South Carolina State. I'm a doctor. Take just, your hoodie off. No. Why? A little hair growing back? I don't have a haircut. Oh, you don't have a haircut? <laughs> have a haircut. You have a bald head. I'm gonna t- I'll let you see. Yeah, Since you want to make fun of people with alopecia. Oh, oh well, oh alopecia. You make fun of people. I got alopecia. <laughs> you ain't got no you damn alopecia. alopecia. You ain't got no damn alopecia. You making fun of alopecia. Jada out here making it to where we don't have to hide no more. You know oh, what I mean? But you wow. out here making fun of us. Oh, okay? wow. Me, Tupac, Jada, Pinkett Smith, and every man and woman out there with a receding headline has alopecia. No, no. Yes. So explain why I was bald head last year. Why you was? Exactly. <laughs> you had alopecia. That, no, I had wigs, a bunch of bad wigs that I kept ripping off. Don't Charlotte play with me. Charlotte made too. Let's get to the rules and get to Jess with the mess. But it is called get... androgenetic alopecia. This is real. We got a damn alopecia. All right, Jess, come around the Lord. Jess don't do no wow. Don't just think better than you. This is the rumor report. I don't do that. Stop. Jess with the mess. I know this is real. On The Breakfast Club. I know they know this is. Keep it a stop. Jesse Smollett enters rehab after extremely difficult years. Okay, so TMZ reported Wednesday that Jesse Smollett will be starting treatment at an outpatient rehab facility. Okay, so I didn't know that he was um he had a drug addiction. Okay, I didn't even know that. Jesse uh, has had an extremely difficult past few years. He has quietly been working very hard for some time now. We know why he's quiet. But um, we are proud of him for taking these necessary steps. A rep for the actor said in a statement to TMZ. Okay, so that's good. I'm all for somebody rehabilitating themselves. That's good. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm sure. I thought it was. Mm-hmm. I thought. I, I ain't gonna lie. I thought they were saying he was going to rehab because he lied. No shut. Sure. I was gonna oh, say, man. come on, because that could be tough. That you said he tough. lied about going to rehab. No, no, no. Hey, yeah. Yo, what if that is a lie? No, it's not a lie. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure he's had a rough couple of years because, you know, regardless of whether you believe him or, or not believe him, yeah. the backlash that he received from everybody. Was crazy. Yeah. yeah it was that's, crazy. That's, 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 that's a lot for anybody to do. But has, yeah. has he got back into acting? Has, have we seen him in any movies, um, any roles that we can remember since? No. And and to be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, that could probably be... His, why he got on drugs? I don't know because I never be. heard of it. You never saw him on Tubi. Be. You watch Tubi a lot. He wasn't Jesse on. ain't gonna go to no Tubi. He ain't well, gonna go from. He can't go. He ain't gonna do that. He he will. He will not. He's still a great actor. Now he, is, he he's still a great actor. And and you know Jesse did a lot for the community too. He yeah. gave a lot of money. He, yeah. he donated a lot. So yeah. I hope he's able to get over this and get back to what he he, yeah. he loves doing. Because I honestly in real life did not know that he was on drugs. But I I oh you know I had a drug addiction. But I'm all for the rehab. I and I'm sure that and I don't even got to look at the comments. And I'm sure that there's people who got sympathy for him in the comments. But then there's people that still of course. beating up on him in the comments yeah, too. Yeah, of I'm course. Sure. So that's yeah. that, that's. They, they they part of the problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, now, like you said, Tubi. Now, Chris Stokes might put him in a movie. Chris Stokes got some good cameras. Man, he got some up. good cameras. He got a couple good actors, but he got some real good cameras. Chris Stokes been doing his thing. When on y'all TV. watch Tubi, that's what y'all look for. Who got good cameras? As long as you dead gonna write. I can't wait to make my Tubi. I movie. can't, but I I don't be wanting them to be too good. I can go to Netflix for that. I need yeah, the bad stuff. That's what oh, I'm boy. saying. Mm-hmm. Make a Tubi movie that's bad on purpose. Period. I'm telling you. Well, cast me as <laughs> cast me as Lil Meech <laughs> <laughs> in, in the Tubi <laughs> movie. <laughs> All right. Anyway, listen. Mm-mm-mm. Kanye West claims his car accident made him upset. Oh, my God. When they gave me the story, I thought they were saying Kanye West had claimed that the Kardashians made him autistic. That's why I took the story. That's what they said? I can see why you say that. That's car accident, why I Kardashian. thought that. Yeah, because, yo, and it's then it's the, the New York accent. The producer, she was like, so Kanye claims that the car accident made him. I thought she said the Kardashian <laughs> oh. made him autistic. I don't even want to report it now. It was a car accident. Okay, can a car accident make you autistic? If you bang your head a certain way. I think it's because no that's idea. in the brain, right? Okay, either way, we don't we Google. don't know. But basically, yeah, Google. please Google and find <laughs> some BS. Uh, most people know that he was in a car accident 20 years ago. Of the course. accident um, it, it uh, happened in 2002. He was texting Elon Musk, and he was saying to him, I'm not bipolar. I have signs of autism from my car accident. Um, and Kanye asked his friend Eon Connor to post this. I, well, it says autism by definition is a developmental condition, which means it is present from birth. Therefore, hmm. a brain injury does not cause a, autism in adulthood. So, okay. So it can't be true because he got into that so accident when he was autistic. in his 20s. I mean, right? I don't know if it can't be true. I'm just reading what, oh. you know, the Google says. Well, why you just want to go to the doctor to see? 
Instead of just diagnosing himself, I don't know because in two, that is true. 2018, he said he was himself. diagnosed yeah. with bipolar disorder, but in 2022, he stated that he was mentally misdiagnosed. That's true. Go to the doctor and yeah, see what your actual to the condition and see, is. Man. Yeah, don't be diagnosing yourself like that. Yes, Tay Diggs' ex-wife speaks on how race impacted their relationship. Um, I didn't even know that he had a white ex-wife. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Tay Diggs is a white woman. <laughs> all right, that was a joke. <laughs> all right, you, all right, man. stop. Put the community come at me. All right, whatever. What community? What community? Right. The white I, community? I don't know. There's so many of them. <laughs> Black men who identify as white women? We have Yes, oh. we have audio for this. What, what does she say? Adina Menzel. Tay Diggs is who you're talking about when uh-huh. you speak of your ex. The fact that both of you are actors and one is having, first of all, you both were incredibly successful, but one is having a, a no. surge of success. Yeah. How did that affect? Uh, there's lots. It's very no complicated. Day. I mean, the thing that came into play more, I would say, and he's talked about it too, is the racial, interracial mm-hmm. aspect of it. Because now, in his case, he's people's, what is it, 50 Most Beautiful 50 most People. Beautiful. Or he's on the, 50 he most was on the cover people, yeah. of Essence uh-huh. and Ebony and being interviewed by all of these um, black journalists. And I think it seemed like there was disappointment in the community mm-hmm. with him because he was married to... Little a beautiful white Jewish, Jewish girl, girl yeah. from yeah. some show that we don't even remember. <laughs> so it's less about being successful and more about just right. that kind of stuff. Hey, it's something to that, man. Dr. Umar and social media have been breaking up happy interracial homes for at least uh, the past four or five years now. Uh, I'm telling you, yeah. after the Black Lives Matter movement, yeah. black people with white significant others didn't want to hold their hand in yeah. public. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you. I mean, I kind of do understand. I kind of understand what she's saying, though. You know, on her white side, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, but if okay. they in love, they should stand but on it, right? They shouldn't yeah. have to worry about what stand people Stand on think. business. Yeah, that's what it on is. Business. You know what I mean? Stand on your business. Yeah, you're you're right. right. But if they in love, they what should be able to stand on it. They should have business. Stand, what? <laughs> what they say? Stand on business? I don't know who, who say that. I don't know. That's somewhere down south they be saying that. I don't say that. Stand on your interracial business, yeah, man. But if they yeah. in love, they should be in love. They shouldn't have to worry about what what hey. a reporter says or what the you know internet says. If they in love, they in love, right? Oh, that's the girl from Rent. Hmm? They met in 1995 when they both starred in Rent on Broadway. He, <laughs> you wasn't even born in 1995. Might, yo, Rent is. It, I was three in 1995. Oh. Thank you. And Rent is one of my favorite musicals. I, I don't love know what Rent. I never seen Rent. Uh, well, either way, whatever. Leave Tate Diggs alone. Whoever he is with is who he is going to be with. I am we- totally against it. <laughs> Dr. Stop. Umar. <laughs> Dr. Umar. He just comes out of nowhere. Stop. Last story. I sentence you Stop. to 500 lashes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what? We got to go, Jess. We got to no, go. No, no. DJ Envy was a video vixen on Joel Santana and Lloyd Banks' music video. That's true. Benza Bentley. I saw that on Wikipedia. Vic, video vixen? <laughs> You was a vixen? You was a video vixen and Envy. Lloyd Banks and Jules said, Tam would be my Benz and Benz. First of all, he I was, was laid not, out on the hood of the car. I was not in <laughs> Beamer Benz and You was the Ebony was not, Video no, Vixen? <laughs> hey yo, because I, I just learned in, that he was all black. So you was an Ebony Video black. Vixen? I was in Back to the Crib with Jules and Chris. Man, Brown. you was in Back to the Crib too? Oh, I know you was you, you was, was topless in, the, in that one. You said you was in the back of the crib with who? It's like, yo, all right. Yo, that's some that's the mess. And he was topless in the Chris Brown Joel Santana video. In the back of the crib. <laughs> with, with the niggas. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. Oh, oh my man. God. Charlemagne gave me the story. No, no, he gave that story? No, I didn't. Oh, he did DJ give that story. Envy. No, I didn't. used to be a video vixen. vixen. Yo, you ass. Speaking of cribs. What you, uh, who you giving that donkey we to, We got man? four squatters that need to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with them. All right. Oh, we'll okay. get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.